Problem number 10. In the geometric sequence 9, 18, 36, 32, and so on, where b1 is equal to 9, what is the value of b12? Or the uh, 12th turn of the sequence. Now there's a formula to calculate the nth turn of a sequence of a geometric sequence. And the formula is b of n and b in the uh, the term that you're looking for is equal to b of 1 b of 1 is the first term of the sequence in this case it will be number 9 times r to the nth minus 1 power so we're looking for the for the 12th terms of the sequence so we have b of 12 it's going to be equals to b of 1 which is equal to 9 times r to the n minus 1th power. Now what is r? r is the common ratio of the sequence which is the number being multiplied, the constant ratio that is being multiplied from term to term. So from 9 to 18 I know I have to multiply times 2 and as you can see 18 times 2 is 36, 36 times 2 is 72 and so on. So the, rate, uh, the common ratio is 2 to the end, the end we're looking for the 12 turns, so it's 12 minus 1, and that gives you 11. So that's how we find the uh, 12 turn. Now I see some answer here that are, that are given in exponents. There's only a couple of them that are given in expanded form. So I'm just going to see what this is equal to in terms of exp uh, exponential form. So I can represent this 9 here as 3 squared times 2 to the 11th and see if I have one of these answers in here and as you can see the answer it's letter E 3 to the second power times 2 to the 11th power is the 12th turn of the sequence now you can also solve this problem uh, without using the formula if you don't remember it does come out handy if you remember during the test and if you get one of these problems in your SAT test but if you don't, don't remember, there's a way to figure it out. So far in the sequence, you know, um, you know that you have four terms in here. So we just have to continue multiplying by two. You keep going from, let's say, you have 72, and then you multiply that 72 times two, and that will give you 144. That would be your fifth term, and you will continue so uh, in this manner until you get to the 12th term, right? N equals to 12th term, uh, b of 12. Uh, and if you do that, if you use your calculator to calculate that number, that will give you 18,432. That's the number. And we just have to look in your choices which of the expressions. So far, we know it couldn't be letter B and it could have been letter D, right? Because the, the answer, the 12th term, is actually 18,432. So you have to go through the choices. A, C, and E to find out which of those expressions evaluate to 18,433. So 3 to 11 times 2 to the second power is not going to give you 18,432. Then you will go and, tr and try 6 to the 22nd power and see if that will give you 18,432. And it also will not give you that answer. So when you do carry out with the multiplication here, 3 squared times 2 to the 11th power, it does give you 18,432. Now, if you do remember that this formula over here, that will save you a lot of time during the test. So it's very handy to uh, remember that formula. Let's go to problem number 11.